All right, so now we're going to create another service that will actually go in and do our connections and, and do our queries. So let's, uh, let's do another file and let's call this thing uh, user, uh, user data service. So I'm going to do require once for our database and that'll get us connected to the database. So now let's invent a, a function name that will do our searching for us. So let's call this thing find by first name. And that will give us a result of, from our database. So we're going to have to have a variable in here. So let's call it dollar sign n, which will be for name. Now, when we create a new connection and try to, to talk to our database, we're going to create a new object called a new database. And so where does this come from, this new database? It is a new instance of this file we just created a minute ago. So if we just wanted to do some testing, we could do printing. We could say echo uh, the database information. So if I wanted to do print r and print the db, that should tell us if we're connected or not. So I'm just going to create a testing file here and run some of these uh, functions that we're creating here. So testing only is the name of the file. So we're going to delete this later. So let's require once this uh, user data service and then we're going to uh, test it out. So I'm going to say u equals a new user data service. And then I'm going to say uh, u dollar sign arrow and then find by first name and we're going to print uh, somebody's first name. Now let's see, I think there were several that were named, I know at least there was one that was Mark, so that should give us a result. And let's, uh, let's echo that to the screen. So echo, and it should find anybody by Mark. Let's see what happens. Okay, so I'm here at my web browser and testing only. We run that. Oh, we got an error. It says on line five, user data service line five. Oh, I put in some extra parentheses. Obviously don't need those. It's a class. Let's try this again. Refresh. And now it says testing the database. We've got a database object. It prints everything there and shows us all of our connection strings. So that seems to be working. Let's put in another test here. Let's say I am searching for a certain name. Okay, so I'm going to put in I am searching for and then it'll pass the name along. So let's refresh the page. And it says here, I am searching for Mark. That seems to be working. Okay, so now I'm going to do a SQL query. So I'm going to create an, a variable called SQL query, and it's going to be a string. So we're going to say select, and I'm going to say the ID first name, last name. And let's see, I think I had it was called customers. Now this is called a search by first name, so we're going to have to have a where statement where the uh, first name is like, and then we're going to put in parentheses, and let's see, that will be the string that we're searching for. So we need to substitute ASDF for the variable that came in, which was dollar sign $n. So we're going to search for $n. So we're going to create a connection now. So we're going to say connection equals, and we are going to do db and an arrow, and we have get connection. So now we should have a connection. Now we can get a result from our query. So let's do a result variable, and that's going to equal connection arrow. So I am going to look for the weird query. So let's see, PQ down lower here. Query, there it is. So we send in the query. Well, our query was actually this variable here. So the SQL query goes in there. Now we're going to find out if we got any results. So I'm going to say if the result arrow, and we should have something called the number of rows. There we go. So if the results of the number of rows is equal to zero, that means nothing came back. No results found. So 
we can return a null value. However, if we do get a result, then we can do some, uh, do some querying on that. Okay, for now I'm just going to say, hey, I found some results. It'll tell me how many there are. I found number of rows results. So let's go back and into our browser and do a refresh on our page. And it says, I'm searching for Mark. And I got this uh, horrible error. It says, trying to get the property of a non-object on line 23. So that means that on line 23, which is results, uh, it didn't get anything, no rows. So it's probably an issue in my SQL code. And it looks to me like I forgot to put in a little quotation marks. So a single quote before and after the uh, percent dollar sign n thing. So let's save that and I'm going to refresh the page again. There we go. So it says I'm searching for Mark and I found one result. So far so good. Let's go and in our testing only option instead of Mark let's put in a letter A, save it, and let's try it again. So this time it says it found five results. So, it's finding data. Now we, all we have to do is print it. So I think I'll stop for right now, but this will take us on to, to part two on building this database service.